Alright, this tutorial is going to show you how to create a plane right through the middle of a block. Um, there could be a couple of reasons to do this. Maybe you want to mirror one feature to the other side of the object, or maybe you need to actually sketch in the middle of the object and then extrude maybe both directions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. First, you need to extrude a block. Um, by now you should be able to do that. We're looking at the front view here, the right side view over here, and the top view here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. It's kind of an isometric. And I'm going to go up to my plane button. Notice there's a lot of different options here. We want to make sure we use work plane. So select it. And then we're going to click on the right side. And we're going to come over here and click on the left side. Now notice that when you do that, a plane shows up right down the middle. It shows what's going to happen. So it's kind of like a preview. Go ahead and select it. And now we have this plane. Now the next thing we need to do is go to create a sketch on the edge of this plane. Make certain you click the edge and not some other face. You'll, you'll notice what, what lights up red. So let's go ahead and click on that. There we go. If you do it successfully, it should turn the grid directly toward the right. And you'll notice also, if I turn this slightly to the side, that half of the object is being is in the way of the plane that we're trying to sketch on. So to get rid of that, it's called Slice Graphics. What you do is hit F7 on your keyboard, um, like the function key at the top of your keyboard. When we do that, it takes that front half of the object away. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit F7 and look directly at the right side view. Now to make what we've done so far useful, we need to create some sort of sketch that's on this plane. Now in order to do that, notice that if I go to my line tool, and try to snap onto these edges here, it's not going to allow me to do that. So what I need to do is project the geometry of this top edge and this left side edge. Notice that the lines turn purple when we projected the geometry. That's the same button that allows us to project the geometry of our origin to get it where you can snap onto it as well. Now I'm going to go to my line tool and you'll notice that it indeed snaps on to those lines. So I'm just going to place a line just like that. The line itself would be no good if it doesn't have dimensions, so we need to now dimension this end point of the line from this front edge. I'm just going to put a sample number of 1 in here. And I also need to dimension this bottom end point to the bottom of the front edge and I'm going to put this in as 0.25. Notice that it's now fully constrained. I'm ready to finish the sketch. All right now from here we can go to extrude and it should allow us to select that triangle. Now notice that right now I'm trying to join. I need to use cut and I want to use symmetric. Notice that places it in the middle and then I want to change this distance to whatever you need for your particular drawing. If it's something like two inches, um, that would that would certainly work. Notice how it cuts that piece right out of the middle. Now, just one thing real quick. Don't forget, always turn off any work planes that are visible. There's two ways to do it. Probably the easiest way is just to find the work plane in your browser and right click and turn off the visibility. The alternate way is to right click on the very edge of the work plane and uncheck this visibility here. Either way, it turns the plane off. If you need it for something, you can always go back and get it. 